today is a special day. 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 Today, today is a very special day. But let me explain more inside the car. How crazy the goats here. Taki na sa loob siya ng stasya ng kotse namin. Fuck! Okay, today is a very special day kasi binyag ngayon ng anak ng classmate ko ng college and kinuha niya akong ninong. So, excited ako kasi it's my first time na maging ninong to someone na kilala ko talaga yung parents. Plus, uh, matam matagal ko na hindi nakikita yung mga college friends ko. So, ayun. Well, I think it will be very fun kasi tagal na kami nakikita-kita and it's a special moment, kaya I think we'll enjoy it. So, we'll drive na ako and I guess I'll come back later. Oops. Oops. Yep. Okay. Okay, nandito na ako dun sa labas nung binyagan nung anak ng classmate ko. Wala pa iba kong classmate, so ako yung pinakaunang dumating dito. Kaya lang hindi ako makalabas ng car kasi wala ako maparkingan. So, sabi ng classmate ko, uh, after daw nung mass, tsaka yung binyag ng anak niya. So, I guess, antayin ko munang matapos yung uh, misa, then uh, probably park, kasi alis na yung mga tao. So, again, later. Peace. topics na gusto kong pag-usapan based dun sa binyag nung inaana ko na si Andre Jacob. So, son siya nung college friend ko. And yung unang topic na gusto ko munang pag-usapan is how to be a good ninong. Or what's the role or responsibility talaga ng ninong. And siguro yun yung something na I'll figure out kasi ito pa lang naman yung unang uh, inaana ko that I really know. Um, share ko na lang muna yung ano, ah, uh, experience ko with my own ninongs and ninangs so kasi ang um, I mean I, I have a very good ninong and ninangs kasi uh, they're mostly I mean all of them are successful and parang uh, they're good role models for me and kasi ang difference ngayon is uh, yung ninong and ninang ko kasi uh, yung ninang ko sister ng mom ko <laughs> tawa si ninang <laughs> <laughs> then yung other ninong ininang ko <laughs> is cousin sa manong mother ko. So alam mo yun, every um, family gatherings nandun sila. So madali for me to like see them uh, to be present para sa kanila and they give me money every Christmas. Tapos yun, so uh, masaya yun. And nisip ko paano naman sa situation ko where I'm not a family so, I don't know, it's something na um, I'll figure out and maganda siguro i-share dito sa videos ko. And yun, I guess that's my thoughts for that first topic muna. Yung second topic na gusto kong pag-usapan is occasions are the best excuses to meet your friends. Kasi when you're in your mid-twenties lahat is more focused on their career. Uh, everyone's working during the weekdays. And hindi mo na talaga, it's really hard to get someone's time. Kasi, alam mo, may iba na kayong, may kanya-kanya na kayong uh, priorities. So, alam mo, uh, this occasion brings us together. And, mayun, uh, tagal ko nang hindi na ibang college friends ko. So, it's really good to meet them and catch up with them. And wala pa din talagang uh, tatalo dun sa personal storytelling na magkikita-kita kayo. Yung uh, mag-meet kayo and mag-uusap talaga kayo about dun sa mga nangyayari na personally about their lives. I guess one thing na I would like to promote is 
uh, pagka may mga ganyang occasions, uh, try mo talaga yung best mo pumunta kasi hindi na, hindi mo naman maulit na yung mga ganong occasions eh. I mean, there would always be next time, yung next na anak, yung next na kasal ng friends mo, but yung binyag nung baby na yon at that, at that, at yung specific person na yun, hindi mo naman maulit yon Isang binyag lang naman yan. I mean, yung kasal siguro if you'll be married twice, thrice sa iba't ibang babae, but I mean, what the fuck, diba? Pero yun, uh, yun, just yung pinaka-message ko is, do your best na makaten sa mga gantong um, occasions kasi it will bond yung friendships nyo and solidifies yung relationship mo with your friends. I was supposed to actually vlog more and have a podcast after nung event, after nung binyag ng anak ng friend ko. Pero I choose not to kasi uh, mas, mas hindi ka magiging present pagka ganun eh. I mean, Binaba ko na lang yung camera ko. Uh, I choose not to tuloy na yung, yung podcast ko. Kasi I want to be more in the moment. And minsan ko na naman sila nakikita. So, it's no big deal. Uh, yung third topic na gusto kong pag-usapan is yung vision ko with the videos na gagawin ko in, in this YouTube channel ko. Uh, astig din na uh, isipin mo na nakatch ko yung binyag ni Jacob. And like two, three years from now, you'll see him in my video. Na tumatak bu na, de ba? Parang Steg. I mean, um, looking back na sa mga lumang videos ko, ah, hindi ko na nasimulan tung video. Yung hindi ko na simulan yung filmmaking enthusiast ko when we're still studying. Pero nagsimula to when some of my friends graduated. So yung pinaka unang ah videos that I have, hindi pang asa kanya ni. It's from my friend. Uh, nagpunta kami ng El Nido Palawan and sa akin memorable yung moment na yun kasi we're broke travelers and parang hindi mo na halos mali-replicate yun ngayon especially when everyone's working hindi na kayo ganun kagipet ayun uh, I guess if you're someone who's watching this video parang be excited to see those videos ano para sa akin ah uh, yung concept ko kasi with this channel is parang yung kay KC nice that where you grow together with with the people who's watching and yun ah uh, I mean seeing me being this 25 year old kid and making progress sa life ko and also sharing yung yung experience ko with my family with my friends and yun, uh, yun yung pinaka, I think, goal ko uh, in doing my YouTube videos is to share those moments, memories, and immortalize yun. I guess nasabi ko na lahat ng kailangan ko sabihin. Um, I don't know, uh, probably yung next videos ko would be about savings account, bonds, equities, time deposits, something more informative naman. So, yeah, that's what you should expect on the next video this week. So, peace. I'm out. See you in the next video. Ha ha ha!